Oh, well that's just spiteful. Can't get my ratchet spider in there. Oh dear. Ah, oh, that is spiteful. Doing this one outside on the floor because it's a nice day it's easy enough uh, it's only a single diaphragm which means it's not a parking brake chamber which means it's an anchor lock not an anchor lock so when you apply the park brake which removes the air from the chambers and allows the spring to engage this chamber hasn't got it we the old WD-40 looks a treat Sorry, bump the camera. What I did think it was quite spiteful. I couldn't get my ratchet spanner on there. I love the long snap on ratchet spanner, which I bought especially to do these jobs. And on this chamber, which is a saf axle get in there which means we're back to the old-fashioned spanner I mean if I wanted to I could have jacked it up and taken the wheel off but uh, what's the rush what's the rush what's the rush eh it's a lovely day Last couple of days of summer. This is no rush. Okay. This one. Ah, this one. Incidentally, this trailer is going for MOT Monday morning and it's now Saturday morning and it's had a brake test which it passed, no problem at all, unloaded, so we had a full set of locks, everything needs to lock when it's unloaded, if you can keep it above 500 kilo per wheel laughing and everything did it no problem however 
when I started up this morning to move it and do some other work on it, it was a strange twang every time the fabric was pressed. We managed to isolate it down to this one. So I'm going to take the chamber off, check the caliper. Make sure that's not just it out or something like that. And if all is well, face the chamber. So just gonna slack it off here, fits in behind well. Still holding in the chamber. has of course got a bloody big test point on it. I think it decidedly more awkward. Fit in. Okay, that's off. I'm sure, I'd say spanner would help. I want to take this off and I'm going to check the little actuator arm inside the caliber. Let's see if that's got loads of free play. I want to see if the caliber's wound itself off. I don't think it has. Like I said, it's locked up on the brake test, no problem at all. But halfway down on the pedal. But these days you just can't take the chance okay chamber off you see inside there look you can see that just an arm plunger okay You can just see there's a little actually a little ball a little ball and cup that's the ball this is the cup and it pushes in there and it actuates on the inside which is about what i would expect it's about an inch of travel which is perfect no problem at all so i'm gonna see we need to replace our chamber so, I shall nip over and get one. Of course, we haven't got one. Okay. Give you a quick view of what I was looking at. It's the caliper. Little arm, little actuator inside there that pushes and this is a ratchet mechanism inside there on the cam and as that pushes in it actuates the two pistons inside squeezes the parts together on the disc very very simple and effective design but that's perfect that much travel in there and the caliper doesn't feel wobbly so there's no playing the sliders so, I shall go get a new brake chamber. Shiny new 
Chingba from our local friendly parts supplier. All right, so time to stick it on. Lucky where we are, we do keep obviously most stuff in stock, but very, very close to the real big, very competent aftermarket specialist. So it doesn't take long to get things. Recently, it's been nothing but MOTs because <sighs> it's uh, well, we're into September now of 2020 for people watching the future, and it's really messed up our MOTs. It's bloody COVID stuff <laughs> because <sighs> DVS8. LT testers stopped work. So obviously we had the local lockdowns and national lockdowns. So they stopped work. So we had 90 days with no MOT tests. Which applied the cars as well. However in the commercial vehicle world that really messed us up because vehicles have to be inspected every four, six, eight weeks safety inspections, periodic inspections for the operator's licenses so if you've got a car and you've got you know car maybe two or three cars in this MOT they extended out for three six months it's no big deal when you look after two three hundred plus vehicles all of which need an annual test and you stop testing for 90 days and you times that by goodness knows how many thousands throughout the country manic backlog of tests now lots of people are taking advantage of the delays for the six month um, and if it's under or if it's his first MOT or the operator is has a green score on the operate on the OCRS uh, the operator compliance scheme if he's got a green which is a traffic light symbol if he's got a green, it means that can be extended for a full 12 months, which is good. Lots of people are taking advantage of it. But you've got lots of people who don't want to take advantage of it. So people want to maintain their original date as much as possible. Which means in August, when we started testing again, we had three MOTs a day, which is fine. Well, <laughs> which is not fine because it's absolutely manic, but it's doable. However, we need to try and get the actual slots. And a lot of people, because everybody was in the same boat, didn't have MOT slots available. Boy, there's a bit of a rush for this one. So the only thing I've had to do on this one is just move 
upper or entry point because there's a side entry or rear entry. Get that out. pipe on this one is just a service line which is the yellow air line on the track unit which just puts air down to play the handbrake and that's it I play the handbrake play the foot brake sorry and that's it that's all it does apart from when the foot brake is applied it has no air pressure going to it very simple on off design so, shall we try? Slide out. I'm gonna, I'll leave the camera looking so you can see, and you can tell me if it's still making that uh, spring noise. Keep your ears peeled. Happy days. Something quiet to me. Okay, so brake chamber's done. See I told you it's a beautiful day. Lovely. Beard needs a bit of a trump. Uh that's it. Last job done. Last job on this trailer done. You can see what type of trailer it is, can't you? Yeah, it's an injector. You smell it before you see it, that's for sure. Okay, cool. See you next time.